you little rotten keg tapper no name having looking ragged lame rapper you nut hugger butt buddy fudge packer okay enough of that my real friends call me ash what kind of name is that bro dude a long time ago in a galaxy far away it was 13 minutes this week i'm hanging out with youngstown's own whiskey pilot what's up guys hello 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 Describe Whiskey Pilot in one word or less. Poop. <laughs> no, same thing. Pee. <laughs> okay. Who got one? You. Whoopsie. Easy. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> we just finished each other's thoughts. <laughs> Poop, pee, whoopsie daisy. Poop, pee, whoopsie daisy. Alright, I really got myself into some shit today. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of music do you guys make? I don't know. Just regular rock music, I guess? R rip off rock. <laughs> rip off rock? <laughs> rip off rock. Just regular music. Uh, yeah. Schmuck rock? Is schmuck that, rock. Yeah, that was our old tag. That's what we used to is What is schmuck? Schmuck. Schmuck. schmuck rock? Schmuck rock. Uh, people that barely know how to play instruments that just write songs and get drunk, basically. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Alright, I like that. Uh, we did use posh punk for a while. Posh punk. Pop punk. Yeah. It was like that fun. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's listenable. You can you can listen to it. <laughs> so you guys just kind of change the subgenre like by the way you're feeling at any time period. Yeah, we accidentally started off being uh, due due to my faults. We we started like as like a shitty like blues rock band almost, and then Jack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <I think laughs> that was really stupid. Shout out to what? Is this 30 seconds in, you already shot people out? Yeah. Oh, this show's all about the shout-outs, even the negative shout-outs. Shout -outs. Let it all out. I got plenty of people I can shout-out to. How long have you guys been Whiskey Pilot? Tell me, like, the story of Whiskey Pilot. Short story, we don't have a long time. Mm -hmm. You know nothing? 2015, our old drummer. Um, shout-out! Shout-out! Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Uh, we started writing, and then Jack, who I, knew, I met through Evan, joined, and then Ben and I had known each other for quite a long time, and he joined, and we played for a couple years, and then Dave joined after Evan moved to Chicago, and we've been a band officially as... Longer than like, Evan. Like three and, and a half years. He's still the new guy. But. Yeah, four, four, three, four, four years, four, four years, years, I think, years. something like that. Oh, yeah, 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 it's pushing five. Pushing five? 2000. Yeah, it was Dave. Dave's one that's still so, the five to so, one. Yes, here she is. I think we went through a few drummers that so That was it, yeah. 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 So now, now it's been us for a while. We did have Sean, too. Yep. I forget about that. You guys butted heads. I, we get along great. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like you don't. I mean, we love each other. I thought. What's the best kind of whiskey? I drink vodka. We <laughs> drink a lot of gin. I drink gin. Jameson. So whiskey's not even like the preferred drink of choice. Those old grain ants. Oh, great. Hate, yeah. hate the fucking name. I do drink a lot. Yeah, we bullet. do. Bullet. We rise. I love bullet. Yeah. We hate the name. That, honestly, I feel like that fits you, that you're in a band that you hate. Just, off, just based off the way this interview already started, like, I really like that dynamic. Three minutes in. Um, and speaking of, like, a band dynamic, or, like, your band's energy, I, I really love the music videos. Do you guys feel like that accurately, they accurately portray you? Like, that's what you guys are like in real life? For sure. Uh, the most recent one, definitely. Well, so we put out that little short one with, um, uh, Tarzan Boy by, uh, is that music called Ball Morning? Is it Ball Morning yet? Is that how you say it? Tarzan. Anyway, Tarzan Boy, uh, that was just for fun. Actually, our buddy put that together for us. We thought it was so funny. So the gray video, we decided, like, let's put some clips together. And that represents us most well. Moon Man. Man. Dude. That was a project. <laughs> yeah. It's so long ago, too. Well, I was wondering kind of about that Moon Man shit. I actually kind of liked it. It was like a short film. A lot of people like it. It's a senior project. It's the point of people that are making stuff. It's, it's like good that people like it, but when you're making something, you're always trying to think about stuff in the future. And it's like, that's cool. And like, we still play that song from time to time. And I know that music video resonates for some people, but it's like, we're, yeah. we're, we're looking for the... It was a school project, so I had to... The next thing in the future. I had to make a point to make it make sense. Are you filming deep? So are, did you like, are you making all the shit that I've seen on Whiskey Pilot's YouTube? Or? Ben, ben did Gray. But that was just from clips of ours from the past couple weeks. That was just like a throw together. Uh, and actually our friend Brian, who lives, shout yeah. out to Brian Hockey, baby. Brian Hockey. 
Yeah. You know? oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's a yeah. cool connection. Yeah. So Brian Hawkey actually produced like one of my first uh, singles. I think his beat is like the only or one of the only two beats that I've ever actually like owned the song and I didn't steal a beat from YouTube. Shout out to Brian Hawkey. Yeah. Oh. He did the Duke, he did Tarzan Boy, and he did That's uh, why they look actually professional. Uh, yeah. I, I, he he actually part. featured me in a couple of his skits on uh oh, that's he made amazing. a couple skits on YouTube. I'm one of them, a commercial for Coitus. Oh, that's cool. As prescribed by your local <laughs> physician. I see this shit. Um, oh, you gotta send that like So, no, that's pretty fucking cool. All right, I don't really want to talk about that dude anymore, though. Do you guys have any albums out? <laughs> no. Not like we reviews. Not albums. EPs oh, for the rest of our lives. It's expensive to record an entire album for no purpose. We just, we're like, we're like, okay, we have a few songs out, we'll go record them. <laughs> we also attribute that to the fact we write three songs a year. Yeah. So, it's a, uh, we, we just thought EPs were a better marketing tactic to get people to listen. To short attention span. Short, right. short attention span. Yeah, just wait till you're famous and somebody else pays it's for it. not gonna happen. There's no famous. Uh, okay. We're going to record, <laughs> we are recording a couple more songs. This is it. In like three or four weeks, we're going back and recording a chip again. That's what I wanted to know. Shout so. out to Jim Ward! Jim! Yeah. Shout out! All right, I don't know him, but shout out. Yeah, keep the, every time. I want you to keep doing that. Hey, drink! Give a shout out! Can you edit? Can you edit? Can you zoom in on my face? Yeah, for sure. Every right. time we shout out, we drink. Okay. Shout out! Shout out! Shout out. That's the first time there's ever a drinking game on this show. All right, fuck yeah. We're gonna I like Whiskey here. Pilot. Uh, excuse me. Who's the smartest in the band? Ben. Ben. No, Dan. Oh, Dan. 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 Who's Not the Dan dumbest? Dan. No. Who's the dumbest? I'm also the dumbest. Who's the dumbest? Ben. Dave. Not me and Dom. <laughs> Dave. I'm really smart for that line coming. So that's probably good. Go on. <laughs> Who's the smartest, Ben? Who's the dumbest, Ben? Uh, ben. Dave. <laughs> Broom. Broom. They're the dumb one. We all gas each other up. You, you know what's so smart? I think Rick Deke is the smartest in our band. Shout out to Rick D. Shout out! <laughs> you guys are making this show more fun than I actually it was never fun until now. What are some of the best places to eat around here? I'm from around here, I know, but for people who aren't, where do you guys like to eat? Depends what you want. If you want wings, Royal Oaks. I say good. Oh, the Oaks. Oh yeah, for sure. Well, yeah. The chicken wrap from the Federal was good, but I really I will drive out of my way to get the the tri tip from. Uh, uh, space Cats. Oh, oh, Space Cats. Oh, yeah, no, that's good barbecue. I keep, I'm not even, uh, it's weird, okay, like, just, uh, the older I get, the less and less I'm, like, I Do eat meat, I guess. What was that? No. <laughs> I, I, oh my god, normally I'm the one that does that, and you just pulled a me on me, I and I think, Don, you fuck. That's, like, the first time that's ever happened on this show. <laughs> that's closest to that. I just got a me pulled on me. But, veggie, heavy stuff you're saying? Uh, yeah, I eat less meat. I don't know why, um, but that space cat shit drives me fucking nuts. I, I seriously so start my mouth starts watering, my pee pee gets all hard, and like <laughs> shout out, shout, shout out, out, out to that, that fucking space. <laughs> yes, yeah, shout out to the space oh, cat. I like yelling. I like to. The, this is good energy. I like you guys, and I kind of knew I would. Um, <laughs> we we're not even getting full answers for anything here. What kind of music do you guys like? Ooh. A lot of punk. Everything really. Oh. Except for a lot of stuff. <laughs> Everything except for a lot. <laughs> we like we love the Vindies. Shout out to the Vindies. Shout out. We like a, we like a lot of local bands. We play a lot with East Nights. They're really they're really sweet. We like uh, no, no, well, we love. But if you're talking, are you talking about like 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 just just what do you guys listen to? That influence These guys thing. Like I ask that question sometimes, but I also want to know what you like. He likes bands like he likes bands like uh. Like a knuckle puck and stuff like that. Yeah, it was pop punk. <laughs> no, it was my pinky. So you can't go wrong with pop punk. Yeah. Except for sometimes, right? Or what were we saying earlier? It's just it's a simple formula. It's catchy. I like that one song by Late Waves. That's the only one I know. Uh, Shout out to Late Waves! <laughs> Shout out! <laughs> Shout out all over the place. That was like a weird thing with like 80s pop, too. Oh, I love it. No, you can't. Listen, uh, Dom, I don't know if we're like friends on Facebook. Check out some of my skate edits I've been putting out on Paul Goon LTD's page. Okay. Um, I'm, dude, I love the 80s pop. And oh, I'm huge into it. I, well, I love indie. I, I got really big into indie pop and then, yeah, the 80s. Since I was like 9 or 10 years old, that's like the first time I ever like grabbed a hold of music was like, 80s and 90s like indie bands. Well, I can't remember how many times I listened to 98.9 with Delilah. And, like, Dude, when I was a kid, like, I was like, band. fuck this shit, but now that's like the music I like. Yeah, they're, they were playing like, oh, like broken glass. Yeah, they're, they're, they're playing Cher and fucking, uh, what's, uh, who does take on me? Fucking, uh, uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
And, <laughs> but it's so true though. That's oh, man, fucking wow. tunnel and shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So that's how it starts though. You're in like the back of your mom's okay. minivan or whatever. But and, your favorite song of all time is Booty. You love Booty back in the '90s. Oh, dude. Oh yeah. Oh, well, because that's when Hot 101 used to like play music that was like <laughs> music <laughs> instead of just pop music. <laughs> Shout out to Rob Thomas and Santana. Smooths are fucking banger. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out! Wow. Shout out! Shout out! Oh my God! Even <laughs> Drew, Drew, Wi-Fi Drew is cracking the fuck up right now. You can't see him because there's something fucking huge in the way, but he's cracking up over there. I don't even normally pay in the camera. That's not part of my job. Because Dom is so smooth. Where are your shoes? Ring. <laughs> oh, where are you? Yeah, you're always hungry, so I'm not. Oh, it's a double whammy. Jesus. I'm not putting my feet in my ears again. You just call him out. Shout out, feet. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out. One guy on this couch has a foot fetish. We're not going to say who it is. Okay, don't say who it is. Just point to them. All right. God. It's not God. Hey, God has got a foot fetish. Why do you think God created feet? Of course he has a foot He's fetish. He's not real. Oh my god, that was true. <laughs> you guys are just saying the shit I want to hear. I think you guys are just buttering me up right now. You guys want to see my tattoo? Yeah. Yeah. You have to drop it. Yes. Drop Trump. Yeah. Yeah. Drop Trump, yeah. yeah. drop Trump baby. I don't think I'm allowed to say dick. She's actually a tattoo artist and she's like, I can't be giving stick and pokes to people. Yeah, that's fine. No shout out. No shout out. <laughs> Still dream. Zoom into that. Bro, I have a stick and poke on my leg too. Oh, <laughs> Yours looks way better. Yeah, that looks like a real tattoo. Yeah, well you guys should see that. Alright, well this is a shout out from behind the camera. Shout out to Jake Dagoda, Brian Hawkey's cousin. A shout out, and within a shout out, it's like uh, that movie. What's that Inception. shit called? Hey, it's an shout Inception out. shout out. Shout out! Uh, shout out to all the people who have gotten terrible tattoos from Jake Dagoda. Um, <laughs> shout out to Jake! And speaking of that, do you guys... Well, not Water. really... Oh God. I swear to God, something just fell. Oh, it looks it water. Oh, yeah, leak this building's condemned. Not it's a big not issue. Oh man, what if the ceiling came crashing down on us and we died on the best, best thing to do. <laughs> you gotta post it if, if we die. Okay, all right, you have my word. Um, I don't normally come on the camera, but now I actually want to show my tattoo. It's okay with you guys? Show me your tattoo. Show us a leg. Shut up. Yeah, let me show Shut my Shut up. Jesus. <laughs> I just, hold on, I have to. <laughs> It's right here. <laughs> I kind of thought, I kind of thought that that's what Jack was gonna do, and when I he didn't, I was like, I have to fucking do it. Like, somebody showed me that in a Pizza Joe's shop back in the day. Everybody goes. You got me. Uh, Pizza Joe's is dirty as fuck. Do local bands have groupies? No. No. <laughs> do any of these? <laughs> yeah, Depends on who I guess? Yeah, I guess. I feel like some dudes get laid. Yeah, not us. There's not much effort. <laughs> we don't actively pursue a lot. We're, we're pretty lazy. Yeah. I think. Let's just go with maybe. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Let's go with N slash A. No, oh, wait. <laughs> we're on Zelda. Oh, you want to be? Oh, yeah, I remember I gave you uh, <laughs> my, my paraphernalia and. <laughs> What exactly does it mean when you guys say Youngstown invented Grim? That's kind of a knock. Um, yeah. Alright, so Barstool Sports came into town and they're douchebags and they had this thing where they were like, Youngstown's gritty. So then this local t shirt company started making shirts that said, Youngstown invented grit. And we were like, that's good on, um, good on them for making oh, sure. Yeah, that happens. Happens. Yeah, yeah. But just like, like we, we've done a couple things at the Soap Gallery, and I think it's kind of like, Soap Gallery is called Soap Gallery because everybody's kind of tired of the Rust Belt thing. Like, it's kind of like yeah, laid, right. laid out. Yeah, oh sure. yeah. Just like, just a whole like, gritty. It's like, everybody knows, like, shit sucks. And you have like that mural on the back of Susie's? You just have like, It's so ugly. I don't know. It's so gr grit. What do you got? Oh, are you talking about like when you pull in that corner parking lot yeah. and they keep, they keep trying to do something there, but it's all yeah. It's an ugly ass gray gray mural that says gray. It's kind of like <laughs> like with our like, stuff. It's like more looking forward. It's like quit talking about whatever the hell. Well, and then Youngstown Clothing Company. Shout out! Shout out! Uh, they put out a shirt. 
that uh, said John Stein invented grit. Well, that's not it's not exactly well, what he we, just said. But we, yeah. we, we stole the design and put out the upside down fitted Grim shirts, and instead of the YC logo, we put an upside down cross. But then we changed it to a sad penguin. And we sold them for $16.66, oh, and we maybe. donated everything to the Humane Society. We bought, we bought the Humane Society and all this stuff, actually. Oh, yeah. so Whiskey Potley is into charitable donating. We don't talk, we don't talk about it a whole lot. Yeah, we don't, yeah, we've done how many? Like, you don't talk about it, but when you do, there happens to be a camera on. No. Uh, no. No, I like whiskey pilots. That's good. More, the more people should give back in any way that they can. We really like dogs and cats. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I actually have a question on here. Um, where is it? Uh, I can't read my own handwriting. Just kidding. It's my phone. What animal makes the best pet? I would say dogs, but honestly, his I have a cat, cat now, cat. and his cats are great. Uh, are you afraid that your cat's gonna fuck you up if it watches this interview and you say something else? Yeah! No, that, no. that is the life of a cat owner, that's why I don't have one! He's got a new cat. Yeah, his name is Hank, in the middle of the night, yeah. I'll wake up and get on my chest and be purring softly, and it just sends the dog back into a beautiful slumber. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Alright, like Hank Mardukas. If I miss the rest, I'll be Yeah, I saw that one friend, Hank Mardukas. I gotta poop, I'll be back. If it clears it's about me. Alright. Shout out to pooping. Shut up! Shut up! He didn't start this one. This one. This one. This one. Oh, oh okay. Jesus Christ. Mango? Mango. Mango. Mango is classic. What's the difference between a whiskey pilot and an airplane pilot? One's drunk, one hopefully isn't. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> I thought one was <laughs> I thought one was Denzel and one was Sally. Oh, yeah, that's exactly. That's a good. That, that's that a good. Came up? That's a good what analogy. Yeah. Yeah. One's what? Denzel Washington and one's Denzel Washington. Washington. No, we couldn't come up with a name, and so like it was one day they said, <laughs> "How about the whiskey pilots?" And I was like. I don't like it. I was like, maybe we're with whiskey pilot, and they're like, okay, maybe. whatever. And then we went with it. And then it was not, I don't know, well received. A few months later, everybody changed their mind. We had this lie for a while where we we told people, people like, where'd the name whiskey pilot come from? And we'd, we'd say that uh, we were watching TV or something, no, and we saw a commercial flight. for the movie Flight. Yeah. And then we were like, he was drinking. He was a drinker. Right? He was doing coke. The bounce was on the plane, you know, I guess. And then Denzel. So he flipped it upside down, down. like a feat that doesn't even make sense with physics or anything fair. But it worked out. Because it's a movie. It's supposed to. I think it's based on a true story, right? It's based on a true story. Flight's based on a true story? Yeah. It's based on a true story. <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> no fucking it's way. Are you serious? Yes. I'm looking this shit up, fact checking this. Fact check. Hey, shout out, fact check. <laughs> shut up, fact check. Shout out. Fact check this shit right now. We just drink. We just drink. Who is Spicy Pickle Pilot? That's a beer. It was a beer we did with Birdfish. Shout out! Shout out! Shout out! Birdfish. Shout out. I wish I, we, you know, we had some on top. But uh, <clears throat> no, we actually collaborated with them on a beer, which was pretty sweet. We all like pickles a lot. We so. did some. We did some duties, some some deeds. And they decided that they would name the beer after us, mm -hmm. and then we actually played a show down there. That was <laughs> a lot of fun. Deeds. Some deeds. Some deeds. That's very cheap. And then, uh, I don't know, we ended up getting a beer named after us, and for some, for some reason you, you said you wanted it to have to do with cucumbers or pickles. Well, Nate has the cucumber. Oh, yeah, so Nate, oh, yeah. my friend Nate, shout out, Nate. Shout, shout out! Shout out! Shout out with Nate's beer, actually, by the way. He loves Sonic. That's what we got, yeah. And you're drinking Nate's beer. Cheers. Exactly. So Nate likes cucumbers a lot, and Birdfish did a cucumber, and it was called Nasty Nate's Cucumber or something. Really good beer. Nectar. Nasty and Nate's. I was like, Nate had the cucumber, we want the pickle. So they did a pickle beer for us. Oh, kind of, fuck yeah. And then we, uh, we played a, a release show for the beer, and it happened to be on Halloween, so we all dressed up like pickles. Dude, their guy, Big John, dressed up as a pilot with a bottle of Jack. Yeah, yeah Jack t-shirt. Uh, Jack t-shirt. Uh, Jack t-shirt. So he was a whiskey pilot. Took me the whole night to figure out that he was a whiskey pilot. Shout uh, out, Big John. Shout out. Big John. Right? Shout out. Should we talk oh, about these balls? Should we talk about the figure that we did for them? No, I don't think we should. Uh, we could let it go. It's, it's, it might it. happen to be on one it's of the... It's in the annals. It's on Nathan. I just listened to that interview today. It's on that. I like annal. What's that? Annals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I thought we were... Sorry, that was something that different. Never Do mind. Do videographers have groupies? Do you yeah. have groupies? Yeah, let's turn the camera here, Paul. Do I have groupies? <laughs> I have... Honestly, I kind of thought 
when I started to like say like, oh, I have my own investment business, like I get more pussy and like, I don't. I got way more pussy when I was like, oh, I work in a pizza shop and I live in a room at my mom's house that she doesn't want me in. Um, exactly, so, because you're a project at that point. Yeah, you're a I get fixer of her. Yeah, that's I think what. Pizza had a lot to do with it. That's a free pizza. Oh, too. girls do like pizza. Yeah. Okay. I thought we were talking about pizza for pussy, man. That's great. So, Calicos. yeah, I don't. Calicos? Calicos? What about cats? Calicos? What about cats? I thought that you were saying something. We talked about cats earlier. What oh. was your favorite? You missed that part. It's the weed. It's it's a long <laughs> it, it's a long couch. He, he's at the end. It's it's not his fault. Um, do you guys are you guys uploading videos of you performing to Pornhub? Yes. Yes. And how are they performing? Uh, actually, yeah, check that. Excuse me. Uh, are you guys getting reception on Pornhub? No, no, no. I, the only people that watch it are basically us. Uh, um, you like you guys jack off to it? No. Well, no, it's a picture of one. Yeah, pull that. You better watch that search bar. I don't know. Four young boys really suck. Now how to suck or something like that. Four young boys. You're going to get a lot of views at that point. With that query. That query is going to get a lot of views. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. Fresh from a blue. Did you watch the top of the Did you watch a porn? Well, I just back. typed in four young boys. That's it's all women. That's all women. That's all women. Look up Whistle Pop 666. Do you have an actual account? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is Whistle. I got a shot of tequila in 666. What? Yeah. You pooped and got tequila? Uh, can you search for me? Oh, oh man. Uh, back to this. Nope. Nope. I don't know. This is. We can talk to Paul. Let's send you porn. Sorry. You can't find it. I think they do All right. I don't even know where to go, but I don't even know where to go now. He said, what's the difference between a whiskey pilot and a whiskey dick? Throttle? What? Yeah, a whiskey dick. Yeah, a whiskey dick. Yeah. I think that's what's the difference between a whiskey dick and a whiskey pilot. That's close enough to work. You can answer that. Okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, that's it's like 2.0 remix. What's the difference yeah, between whiskey pilot and whiskey dick? Nothing. <laughs> Let you down every time. Soft. <laughs> not not acceptable. Not, not acceptable. Soft. That's it. That's it. Pisses <laughs> people off. Flat. Whiskey pilot. Jesus Christ. Did you guys write that jingle? Is that how you got your name in there? We actually came the up with the Pepto Bismol jingle. jingle. Is it true that whiskey pilot wrote that? What jingle? The upset stomach. Uh, indigestion whiskey pilot. Oh, I forgot. It's just our Twitter. Yeah, it's just spit. <laughs> we wrote that at practice one day. That's our Twitter bio. <laughs> That's our Twitter thing right now. <laughs> whiskey pilot. Well, our, our, listen, our, our Twitter bio used to be an official uh, official Twitter page of Dan of All. He's lost it. Fan club. Fan club. Dan of All. Who changed it to that? Hey, shout out Dan of All. That's like this. He's like, he changed it. He can't even keep his glasses on his face right now, ladies and gentlemen. Well, hey, go show them your Dan of All. Your Dan of All. Shout out Dan of All. Shout out Dan of All. Shout out Dan of All. Uh, you know the smoke, uh, the local Don't sportscaster? Show me, show me, show me. Yeah. Oh. Dana. Dana. Dana Ballish to infinity. 1976 to infinity. No, it just says Dana Ballish to infinity. Raise your arm up. <laughs> Dana Ballish to infinity. <laughs> greatest, ah. greatest sportscaster that I ever saw. <laughs> When in Rome, do as the Romans. When in Youngstown. This might be oh, we're supposed to finish that sentence? I was hoping. So, oh, yeah. uh, say it again. Do the. Uh, no, say the sentence again. When in Rome, do as the Romans. When in Youngstown. Do the twist. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't think of anything. I dropped the ball. You put that was bad. bad. <laughs> that was real bad. No. When in Youngstown, tuck your pole and dance around a Shania Twain. <laughs> tuck right. your pole? Alright. I feel like that's about as good as advice as you could give to somebody. Well, that's, that's uh, who's... Awesome <laughs> Did you say Austin Town? When in Youngstown, when in Austin Town hang out at Walmart. <laughs> Don't lick the bowling balls at Westside Bowl. <laughs> Shout out to Westside Bowl. Shout out! Uh, love those guys. They didn't like that. Yeah, because no. that was really bad timing. Yeah, it was the day the bar shut down. That right. was the day of the COVID shutdown. Mike Devine was crying. Oh, is that you doing that? <laughs> it's the ceiling. <laughs> it's the ceiling. What are you doing it? It was the ceiling the whole time. You can see the comments. 
conversation. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think today we're gonna find out how uh, how much detail you can actually see on this camera. Um, <laughs> on that note, I'm Paul Goon. They are Whiskey Pilot. These interviews are never gonna fucking be 13 minutes long. That's it. That's good.